All right, guys, so getting ready to run charcoal on the machine and run the uh, the water drip system for the first time. So concluding the, the last run, I actually think we sucked some uh, hay into the, the engine. I don't think it was tar. Um, I did run out the remaining fuel that was in the hopper, and it didn't look too bad. So I'm not really too concerned. I think uh, adding uh, the hopper vibrator will uh, solve uh, any tar issues. Okay, so I just ran it out of gas. I did run some gas just in case. I'd rather uh, be safe than sorry. It's not that that's not fixable. There is an easy way. Eventually, I'll have to do a, a video on how to fix a, a tarred up engine. So maybe if I if I tar this thing up in the future, I'll show you how it's done. It's really not a big deal. Not fun. It's not desired, but it can happen. It probably will happen. All right. So let's get you set back up here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is install the water. I haven't um, put any water in that yet. So we'll see if it leaks. <laughs> Uh, two liter capacity. That's probably put all the stuff in. There is a vent hole on the back side to allow air in here to keep it from vapor locking. Alright. Put the cap back on. Time since I had tar on my hands. <laughs> We've been doing charcoal for, for quite a while now. Yeah, that's about a 10 gallon capacity. Might have over overfilled it. Alright, so this thing should just fire right off. I haven't had it off that for that long. Water drip is on. Thank you. 
Kristen's gonna love this. My uh, my fitting that I welded in the tank is leaking. <laughs> the boss uh, screwed it up. All right, guys. So here it is running on charcoal. So we're gonna let that run, and uh, I'm gonna get a time, and uh, we're gonna time this out. And see what kind of run time we get. All right. So we'll be back in a few. All right, guys. So I'm about a hour and a half into this uh, charcoal run it's pretty much just run, running just like this the whole entire time all right so i wanted to come out and see where we're at as far as the hopper level goes so i'm gonna pull the lid off we could stall it here so Well, it's still got a ways to go. This will go probably another, maybe an hour, not maybe not quite an hour. But uh, yeah, if I uh, agi agitate the hopper a little bit, I should be able to get another hour. <laughs> Sorry, I shook you guys. Uh, I'm going to open that back up just to see if I did anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's still... It's just above this rib. So, yeah, it's probably got... Maybe not quite an hour. So about two and a half hour run time, I think. Um, there's really no point in doing temp temperatures because uh, it's completely different because uh, the two back, the secondary valves are shut off. So it's gonna, of course it's gonna be uh, a lot hotter at the primary jet. So, we changed some of the dynamics, so it's gonna. It needs to catch up again, re, get reestablished. And one thing I want to mention is, uh, I'm not quite able to get the power that I was with uh, raw wood. I had the charger on 20 amps on raw wood and it, and it ran, it was able to sustain it. Um, on charcoal, I can only run on 10 amps. It could probably do 15, but I don't have that option. It seems to run really strong at 10 amps, but that doesn't mean that I'm getting less power. It's all about the kilowatt hours produced, right? So with wood gas, I don't quite have a, a two hour run time. It's roughly an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes. With charcoal, I'm anticipating this to run for two and a half hours. So the kilowatt hours between the two are probably gonna be about the same. It's just uh, you're not able to pull um, more power at once from charcoal. All right, so we'll come back here. Uh, we'll, we're gonna run this completely out and get an accurate time and, and see what happens. All right, guys, so we're coming up to the end of the run. So it, it turns out that it is about a two hour run time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut it down. Yeah, I, uh, this uh, outlet on the, on the uh, speed control, it doesn't, the plug keeps falling out and it fell out. It landed right there and you can see where the plastic turned off. So yeah, I'm going to have to replace my plug. 
We'll be cautious of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut my water drip off. And that's a little warm. So I don't know if you can see down in there. Oh yeah. So yeah, she's pretty much. Yeah, that's right to the, the jet. I could have got a little more out of it, but but that's about it. So I'm going to tap this back off so she can shut down and she'll be ready to go for another run. All right, so I'm not too worried about uh, tar production with charcoal because we've already burnt that out. can usually tell oh I think I breached the screen again hmm all right no that's still intact Yeah, definitely have some crud in there. But you know, that's not that's not tar, that'll just wash off. It's just slick. I'm not exactly sure where that came from. It could have been from uh, the last run when that did breach. Most likely the what caused that. So anyway, um, so I did all three runs so far. We did a 50-50 mixture of wood chips and charcoal. That actually ran the best. It ran stable, it made clean gas, and it made good power. Wood chips uh, made dirtier gas, but I think it would, would have been okay if uh, we wouldn't have reached uh, that screen. But it did run on stable, so I think we're gonna have to add an agitator to the hopper to uh, keep the, the bridging down. And then charcoal ran stable and it ran longer, but with less less output. But this machine can do, do all three. So we will be coming to market with a production version of this. And basically the reactor will ship right inside the hopper. Um, we're just gonna do a, a kit where you just assemble it. So you can uh, build this kit. This is this kit here is the the weld kit, and then uh, our version will will do for a little bit because we won't be using an ammo box on the on the bottom. We're gonna we're gonna build a, an actual build our own uh, ash clean out. But I am freezing, so I am gonna go back inside, let this thing cool down, and revisit this, this uh, another time. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend.